Hey there, YouTube. Um, right, I wanna. I've had one of these now uh, for over six months, and I made a video on this before. But I'm a bit of a neophyte to all this, and uh, I decided that I was going to make another video because I'm more familiar with it now, and um, I can tell you basically how all this works. I mean. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to go into uh, the electron level or anything like that. I mean, just as a just as an end user um, who wants to <laughs> have an idea of what this can what this can uh, do for them. Let me tell you a little bit about it first. It's a blue plastic case, see-through as you can see, and you can see all the bits and pieces inside. Got a big blobby bit there, which probably does a really good job I don't know what the parts are inside I'm not even gonna bother trying to uh, tell you and I can see there's some capacitors and resistors and your IC there uh, but that's not really what this is about this is just about the functionality of it and what you get to see and what it is you buy now this little gizmo is I'm sure this is an E so it'd be K E W E I S I Kerezi, Kerezi, okay, don't hold me to the pronunciation as I don't know, but it's a USB um, charge display device, I would say. It gives you the volts, amps, um, milliwatt hour down here, and a time there. If I plug this back in, I'm going to plug it into this top one this time. As you can see, I've pressed the reset button, which is just on top of here. And you just press it in, hold it for a second or two, let it go, and it resets everything back to zero. Now, of course, the amps will be at zero unless there's something going through, um, and the voltage is just indicating. Uh, what the output of this is here so it's at 4.95 volts we can say 5 volts the time part I was always I was first a little bit confused about how this worked and I used to plug my phone in or I still do or on occasion plug my phone into this and what would happen was once the phone had carried on had finished charging this would carry on counting and I always used to think well that's a bit of a pain really because you don't know then how long it took the phone to charge but thinking about it which I did earlier on today I thought to myself well because the phone is still powered on there's still going to be little bits of charging going on so of course this won't stop because it hasn't finished it will only stop when you put something in that when it's finished charging it stops accepting more charge let's say a battery or a battery on a little helicopter system because the battery in here doesn't want to be overcharged and so when it is finished charging it will stop and that's what I've done over here if you just come with me oops just gotta be careful of that over here we just come in here and I turn that around there we go now this battery it seems has been charging for 16 minutes um, it's drawing 1.4, uh, 160, 140 milliamps, and we've got 43 milliamp hour of charge into the battery since it started from a reset. And I've got that connected into my HTC charger, just plugged into a power strip like that, and that comes across on this yellow wire into the side of my little. Uh, a little helicopter there which I don't know if any of you have one of these but they're excellent fun you can buy buy them for you know less than 15 pounds and they're great fun just to play around with um, yeah so if I put that there and the camera doesn't go anywhere for me one you can see over here now, and you can see this continue now on this one when this finishes now when this has taken enough charge 
um, there will be a little LED that will light up in here and I'm hoping that that's not going to be enough of a draw on this to keep that timer going I'm hoping that that will shut the timer off it may not because of that LED but it indicates to me that the charge is finished and then I can you know just give it a little bit of time for the battery to cool and then I can fly it but in the meantime go back to this I mean this there's not a great deal to say about this um, you've got a input into USB and then you've got your output into USB on some of these not these particular ones I've got another one another one here it's quite easy as I have done on occasion to get the USB to go in the wrong way around okay and it goes part way in and it shuts everything down but it does come back to life so that's a good thing okay on this one it's not that easy to put the USB in the wrong way around and so you don't fall into that little uh, trap um, and you don't have those problems but what I have noticed is but it's not just for this it's with this entire thing is if you've got like um, your phone plugged in here and you knock this but it can happen as well if your phone is just plugged directly into here and you knock it um, you, you lose pretty much all of the power going through you know, these things don't like that this doesn't like that the only reason I know it happens on here is because if you just come this way with me and look there that there tells me the ampage being drawn from my batteries and so because this is connected to my batteries I get to see then over there the power draw and then I can see if I've knocked it I can see it's gone down to nothing over there um, otherwise it normally when my phone's plugged in be around about two to three hundred milliamp um, power draw so you know, I've had these now over six months. It was 15th of um, December that I bought them. And I played around, played around. I made a little video, but I made a big, I made a mistake with how this works. Um, because when it gets to 99 hours and 99 minutes, it says full. I don't know why it would say full. I don't know why it wouldn't just start again, but it says full. Um, and so I thought, you know, it's, it's months down the line now. It's um, There's been various things that I've bought from eBay that don't work after a while. And this still works. And that one over there still works. Which is great. And it would be lovely just to see uh, if that actually stops the timer on that particular one when this is finished charging when the helicopter is finished charging and that's something that I'm not going to carry on rabbiting to you about now I'm going to uh, pause the video and basically come back when that's finished and we'll see if it actually Quite does easy that. To see that red light now Check these blinds off you should be able to see the red light yep that's nice and easy to see the blinds again just so we can see the display it now says it's only drawing 10 milliamp 0 milliamp now so what I want to see now is that the timer stops so we don't want to see it go from you can't see that very well can you let me see if I can just change that slightly for that to be different it says 106 Right, then what we don't want to do is have it go to 107. That would be quite disappointing because it's not taking any amps now. My fingers are crossed because I really want this to show that this thing actually stops the timer when there's no current passing, when there's no charge happening. Because then it actually makes reasonable sense to have it there. Otherwise, if it's just a a TikTok timer for no reason, where's the point? Put something else. Put, you could put a power thing there for you know for those who would like to see a 
a quick calculation of the power rather than you know whip out a calculator or do it in your head. Um, it's looking promising because this minute seems to be dragging on a little bit longer than I'm actually looking at the, the clock on my computer now just to um, because if that goes past another minute then we can pretty much say that that does do that then but you have to have it where you know like on a like on a helicopter where it will only draw as much power as what it needs and then it will shut off because it doesn't want the battery to overcharge because it will just damage the battery Oh, I mean, bloody splendid if that is the case. Okay, so my clock on my computer's now gone to 18, and we're still on 6 on there, so most definitely when it goes to 19. So let's just have another little look at what's going on here. You still see that? It's not the greatest. I mean, if I put the light back on over the head, overhead, we can see better. But of course, then we won't be able to see the LED. Um, you still see the LED there? Yeah, I mean we can make out the LED. Now you know where you're looking. It's easy to see that the LED is there. Um, and we're still on 18 on my computer. And even though, as you can see, I'm drawing off power, we've still got 13 volts going into these. He says that and one goes up and the other one goes down. <laughs> but you can see how that's equaled out now. Um, and I'm quite happy to say my computer's now gone to 19 and we are still on 106. So yes, the timer does stop when it stops um, the flow of power because the power is no longer required and that gives a good indication of when something uh, is taking time to charge. So now I know that it takes approximately one hour six minutes for my battery to charge in the helicopter. And that's good, because I didn't know that before. For some reason, I thought it was like 25, 30 minutes. Maybe it was when I first got it, but I've flown it around quite a lot since I first got it. So, that's, that's good. That's good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That actually uh, makes that particular device more helpful than what I've anticipated it to be for the period of time that I've had it, which is, you know, over six months. Since this 15th of December 2015. Yay! Brilliant. Six months. Brilliant. Okay. Oh. I don't think we need to carry on with this. I think we can see now the device does work. Um, the timing system does work, and it works quite well. Uh, you can buy these on eBay UK sellers if you're in the UK for like eight pounds. <laughs> I bought both of mine for um, four pound forty-eight um, from China. They didn't take that long to get here either. Um, but there is this issue that if you do wobble it around, um, it does upset the electronics, and it will all prefer to be reconnected, reset again. It's one of those things you'll have to you have to um, take into consideration. If you are going to be charging your phone with it and such, don't expect the timer to give you uh, the indication of when it's finished charging, because if your phone's on, it won't finish charging, of course, because you're continuously using the power by having the phone on. I expect it will work now um, if the phone is actually powered off and charging. Um, but we can certainly see that when you're charging a device like this, um, it does stop because we're still on 106 over there. I've been gibbering on again for minutes. Hmm. So yeah, that's a, that's a thumbs up from me on these little devices, because like I say, they still work for starters. Um, and that timing device now does come into a practical usage. Now even though I've just moved this, and probably upset the balance a little tiny bit with connections, it's now gone to 20 milliamps, and time has started again. But I will imagine that that's just going to be until the battery goes, there's a little checks, and then it goes, oh, hold on a minute, I am charged, and shuts it back down again. And as you can see over there, it's flicking between uh, 20 and 10. And I'm pretty sure that's going to drop down again to zero. But we know that once it does drop down to zero, um, that it does stop the timing. Which is great. And then of course, you know, the next time I go to plug it in to try it again, I can press the reset. 
and as long as I don't move the wires around or upset anything while it's happening so the sensors don't try and pick up you know whether it's uh, charged or not again it will it will um, it will stop the timer when it's finished okay well I hope that's of help to anybody out there who's considering buying one of these whether they're actually uh, practical or not and um, yeah